What's up guys? I hope you guys are having an awesome day enjoying yourselves out there. Today I'm going to be actually doing an unveiling of these right here. Automatic soap dispenser, Amazon finds. Those are actually super cool. We're going to actually get into them further. And I'm going to be leaving the link in the description below as well so you can get you a pair. Or if you're looking for one, you could get a single one as well. And they are actually under $20. So those are actually super cheap. And you could get your whatever, however many you need for however many bathroom or kitchen you have in your house. And those work wonders. They're awesome. Let's dive into opening the box. Let's go. Alright guys, it's your boy Stan here. I have a pair of them in front of me. These are the automatic soap dispenser, model number P9 to be exact. And it's 0.25 seconds rapid sensing. So that means it senses your hand in 0.25 seconds. So that's actually pretty cool. It's splash proof. It has durable motors, which is actually great. Like I mentioned earlier, it's rapid sensitive rapid sensing of 2.25 seconds and it's environmentally friendly as well and the back of the box actually tells you a few more um, options that it has a few more features that it has it has a wall mount or countertop placement so you can actually wall mount this or put it on your countertop I chose to put mine on my countertop it has a adjustable soap volume control switch most of them don't have that volume soap control switch and it's touchless operation it's hand free intelligent sensor and it's also water resistant and it has rechargeable batteries you can't get anything better than that in the market right now for that price point a model number is p9 of course and it's usb type c charging so you can charge this with USB-C cord if you have some. And of course these are made in China. And the bottle capacity is 400 milliliters. I don't know how much that is, but we're going to dive into it further and see what it brings. So let's open the box and see what happens there. I'm going to open one box because the other one is practically identical. They're practically the same. Yeah, so let's open the box because both of them are identical. So it's the same exact thing on both sides. So let's get the box open. So we're going to go right here. Open the box. So inside the box, it comes with this little... Oh, that's actually the mount. That you could actually put the mount on the back of it. This clear thing is actually the countertop, um, not countertop, the actually wall mount, sorry. You could actually attach that to the back of it, and I'll see if I can show you here. All right, so that's the bottle in itself, and here comes the instruction. I think it's Futoki V9, that's the name, and the instructions are in English for... Something that was made in China. That's actually awesome. And it actually comes with an anti-clog bottle as well. That actually squeezes. You could squeeze that and it'll unclog your line. If it actually happens to be clogged. Obviously you got to cut it off here. You got to cut off here. So you can actually give it a little bit of remove room. But other than that, it's perfect. Or if you have um, a air compressor of some sort, you could actually do the same thing with the air compressor as well. So it actually comes with the USB-C cord right in there. That's the USB-C cord, as you can see, to charge it. And two wall mount. I'm not going to be using the wall mounts because I'm actually going to put it on a countertop. So that's what comes in the box. The instructions, USB-C, the unclogged um, bottle right there, 
I'll probably use that for something else and find another avenue or probably use my air compressor to actually unclog it if it gets clogged or pretty much I have two so it wouldn't be a problem whatsoever if that's that so that's pretty much how it looks this is how pretty that thing looks and you can unscrew this container that's how big the container is like they said it's 400 milliliters so you could fill it to the max up to here don't go over here because once you get it up to here it will actually spill on the side so I'm going to demonstrate exactly how to fill it up as well let me power it on see if it has any power whatsoever and it does it actually just comes on and every time I put my hand underneath it it makes that sound that's awesome hey guys um the motor is in here up here and if you have a problem with the tube you cannot unclog it there's a simple way you could actually fix that you can pretty much take this off at the bottom right here you can take that tube out go to your local hardware store buy a tube similar to that size if you cannot unclog it, if it's too clogged for you, you buy a clue, uh, tube similar to that side. I believe there's also straws that could actually work, but the straws are not that durable like this is. You buy a tube similar to that. You go, you get, you go with this to the hardware store, and you buy you a tube. It probably cost you like three, four bucks for probably fifty feet or twenty-five feet of tubing whatever the amount is for your at your local hardware store and you can cut it to the same size and come back and put it back together like so in order for you to get it working again if you ever have problems with the tube not being clean or being too clogged and stuff of that nature so if you needed a cleaner tube you could actually do that as well so that's an option that you do have, but however, it's gonna cost you some money, about probably four or five bucks, just to save up on, on not having to buy another one. And the good thing about these is the battery lasts a long time in these as well. You could, you probably won't have to charge this for another three months, to say the least. So every three months, you probably would have to charge it. So that's when the battery runs out, and then the machine will let you know it'll start um, lighting up red when it's actually running low on charge or when the battery is running out of life and stuff of that nature. So I just wanted to let you guys know that as well. All right, guys, this is actually the back of the automatic soap dispenser. This right here fits into this over here. That's still for you to hang it on a wall. So that's pretty much how that works. In a grand scheme of things, you just slide it right in, in there. And you peel this piece of tape that's attached to it. And this actually will allow you to hang it on the wall like so. So you'll be able to see how it hangs on the wall and stuff like that. But the most important part is the fact that these are not battery operated and they are rechargeable so that's why it's, it's also waterproof so as you can see there's a little piece of plastic right there that you have to pull in order to get to the charging um, part port back there and let me see if I can find something that can actually do the trick right there if you don't have one you can get a toothpick and a toothpick should be able to fit in there perfectly and that's how it opens up and it actually opens up this way and it actually is stuck to the device so you could pull it out but you don't want to pull it out too hard and break it because obviously that will get rid of your waterproof process because if water gets here your motor will pretty much be seized and you plug it i'm gonna use the side of my laptop to show you how you charge this so you pretty much plug in like you normally would plug 
something into your USB port or you use a brick and you attach that right in the back of this and once you do so it will actually all the four lights will be lighting up and flashing that in that facet and that explains to you that it's either fully charged as of right now all four lights are lighting up so that means it's fully charged if one if it's on level one of charging there will be one light flashing level two two light flashing level three three light flashing and so on and so on so you get the point that's pretty much how you charge this using it and when you're done you pretty much unplug it and you close this baby back up and you go back to using it the normal way that you were using it before so now let's get to put some liquid inside of it and see what happens all right guys i'm actually in the bathroom i'm trying to see exactly how we're gonna actually change swap it from this one to the new one this one actually works perfect it's the Zife it works perfect but however it only gives me foam like so and I didn't like that I that it only gives me foam and it's not actually perfect like it's supposed to be so I'm gonna actually go ahead and get rid of that one perhaps gift it to a friend and hand it over to someone see as you can see it works every time my hands go by it it works but um the problem with it is it doesn't the foam is not fizzing like it's supposed to let me know in the comments what should i do in that situation or if that actually still continues with this but i'm going to actually swap the foam in there into in here to show you guys that it actually works so this one you actually have to unscrew it from the top so I'm gonna unscrew it from the top and pour the liquid out shut it off and I'll clean it later only to replace it with the water that's here so I can display to you guys that it actually works with the soap that's actually in here right, I'm gonna shut it off So now this is no longer in service. And we're going to unscrew this in one more time. And we're going to pour in our liquid from the other one to this and see what happens from there. So now there's a little bit of soap in there and it's been replaced. And that's the way it's supposed to come out. And if you press the power button one more time, it'll actually give you double the foam. And that's what we need. So you can wash your hands properly and the foam is fizzing. It's perfect. And that's exactly what I wanted. And that's why I got these for under 20 bucks per. So that's pretty much that in a nutshell and how that works. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. The link will be in the description below as well. If you need to get yourself a couple or you need to get yourself one, link is in the description below. We're pretty much out with the old, in with the new. This one is actually much better. We're going to figure out what to do with this one while it works. And it also has rechargeable USB-C and everything. It's just too bulky, one. And two, it just didn't do the job like it's supposed to. So that's why we had to replace, I had to replace that. So now let's get on to it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Peace.